What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jake to the uh, J. And in this, in, in, in this particular video, I am going to be showing you how I prepare to mix a song. Now, this is a little bit different. This is not your normal song that I normally mix. If you watch this short that I created, I was talking about finding songs off the internet in stems, downloading those, and practice mix mixing. Because you'll find that a lot of people's stuff use a lot of tracks and it's a different quality of studio so it's always good to find some other music besides the stuff that you record to mix because you're going to have to freshen up your ears because what you used to re hearing and recording may be nothing like what you have to mix and also it keeps it keeps things fresh so let me just show you how i prepare so this particular song is called crazy by this artist called ryan Kelly. It's broken down all in stems. It's 107 uh, BPM, and I'll play you just a little bit of it so, so you can see what I was talking about earlier. Okay, so just that's just a little bit of it, but I don't know if you can tell this or not, but when I listen to this, it was obviously recorded professionally, sounds great. It sounds great as it is. So for my ears, it's like, OK, where do I even start? Because it already sounds good. Whereas when I'm recording my music, I pretty much when it's recording. It's garbage. And then I have to make it and really do all this stuff to it to make it sound halfway decent. But when you download, when you're recording, when you're trying to mix somebody else's stuff, that's not always going to be the case. There's someone with a really, really good ear. They're going to listen to this and know right away what needs to be changed. Now, one thing that you got to take into consideration too, when you fixing to get started on a mix with a bunch of tracks is before you touch a single dial, look at the tracks, see how they are organized. And this particular one is great. Why is that? Because the tracks are numbered one through 32 and the tracks are in the order that I love them. Absolutely love them. What I mean by that, you got your drums first, your bass, your synth, and your samples. That's exactly the way that I make. Uh, that's exactly the way that I organize my my songs when I'm making them. You got your lead vocals, backing voc vocals, exact same way. Tons of backing, tons of backing vocals. So the first thing that you probably want to do when you're getting ready to mix a song is see how it is organized. And if it's not organized, get it in a way that's going to be easy for you to move along. It'll save you a lot of time and a lot of frustration in the beginning because you can have track songs that are way more than 32. That's going to be overwhelming. It can easily be overwhelming. So at this point, you want to make sure it's organized. Now, the next thing that I do personally is solo each sound so I can see and hear each sound separately. You really need to do that because there may be something you're not even hearing when you're listening to it. And you can kind of get a good idea of where you want to go with the mix. And what I'm also doing while I'm soloing each sound is I'm look, listening at the volumes. Where is it at in the meters? I want to see if this one is already leveled out pretty well to where I may not even have to touch the levels initially or do dramatic changes to the volumes. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's listen to the kick. Notice how the kick is coming up around negative 12. So I already know from listening to the whole mix and then separating it to this sound that I'm going to have plenty of headroom. So we'll leave that Let's the clap. That's great. Another clap.
And another thing I'm listening for too, if you look at all of this, all the drums are mono, which is great. Then you got a couple of samples that are in stereo, which is great. So you got to pay attention to all of that initially to know where you're going to go with each. Get a good idea to build a foundation of how you want to start that mix. And then while we're playing, let's just skip ahead a little bit. So after I've soloed each one or even during while I've soloed each, each one, I want to play the whole thing and I'm going to look at the main levels to see where we hitting. Nothing is going in the red. We're hitting at a mm -mm. we're hitting at an average around negative three, negative four dB. So in my mind, we are off to a good start. Now let's come up here to this hi hat because I want to see how loud the hi hats are. I like that hi hat. That hi hat is stereo. So with that being stereo, normally I would bring my hi hats over to the left. Because that's how a real drum set is. But this is in stereo and I'm watching down here and can tell and here too. That I may not even have to change that. I may bring it to the left just a little bit. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. That's sort of bass. What does bass sound like? Bass is still hitting her right around the kick. And for those that's starting out, here's another good thing about doing this. For those that's starting out, you download these songs and you know that they recorded great, or you at least know they recorded better than yours. There's so much you can learn from it. Notice how everything almost already sounds level. Notice the headroom that is already in this particular track. This is how you should do yours. Leave yourself some room to play with. You're not trying to get it all loud up front. Now let's move on to this synth. Uh, let's see here. Where is the synth coming in? I don't even know where it's coming in. There we are. We right about that. This is recorded good. This is the sample. More drums. Man, these samples. Now listen to this too, folks. When you listen to just these samples, this is the actual melody of the song. It's really nothing to it. Just goes to show you don't take a whole bunch to make a decent song. Let's listen to just the melody. That's it. So the bass is carrying the whole song. Man, you can just learn so much by listening to other people's stuff and see how it's tracked out. Cause you made me thinking you, you, you on the right track, trying to make all these complicated beats, and then you hear something like this. I like how it's open to where the vocals is cutting through. It's a lot of stuff you got to pay attention to and incorporate it into your own music. Let's listen to this lead vocal. The background vocal is 
Bad Good. sack of gas, sack of knives, sack of forks. Twenty motherfuckers showing up at your porch. Yeah. Hit you with the truth, bada bang, no remorse. You be telling all these lies. Who's your man? Who's your source? Hey. Hand me those keys, let me ride in the Porsche. Been too long in the stool, I got it's hits. It's a lot of background stores. vocals. Show respect, show your heart. I got love for my folks. Yeah. Crazy, crazy, crazy. You a crazy crazy, you crazy, 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 crazy. Are you crazy, crazy, crazy? You a crazy, 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 crazy. You crazy, 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 crazy. You crazy. See, now one thing I already know is that I'm gonna do in this mix. Now that I know that this is actually the course obviously we're gonna have that shit pan and crazy we're gonna have it pan and crazy 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 you okay crazy, you crazy, no pun crazy, intended crazy, crazy crazy so i'm just listening to the song to see what i can do it's crazy crazy why ain't that oh we got some more way on down here Ooh, there's a lot of backing tracks what is this? Tell me he crazy. No more. Dancing on the floor. On the floor. Let that shit all go. Let it go, baby. Crazy. Yeah. All night long. All night long. Till I feel myself no more. No more. Now there's obviously a gate. Dancing on the floor. On the floor. On those vocals. Let that shit all go. Let it go, baby. Crazy, 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 <laughs> crazy, yeah. crazy, hey. crazy, crazy, crazy. A little go. bit of bleed. Crazy, 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 crazy. I'm okay with the bleed. Crazy, 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 crazy. So all together, all together, I mean, I think it's it's a, it's a decent song. It's definitely something that I can work with and try to mix. It's going to be fun doing. But in this particular video, I just wanted to show you how I get started with that particular process. Now for everybody it's different. It's different. You ain't gotta do it like this. But this is how I choose to do it because I feel like I can make the most out of the mix if I'm actually listening. It's almost like having a conversation with when you're always talking and you're never listening, you don't never learn nothing. So sometimes you just gotta listen first. You just gotta listen. Then take mental notes of what you're hearing. And that's what we're doing with this particular song. This your boy. I think this is going to wrap this video up. I'll do another one. If y'all want to see me, which ain't no telling how long that video would be. You want to see me mixing it? I may do it live. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do a live of mixing this particular song. This your boy. Peace.